Okay, hey guys, it's me, Glitch Games, and welcome back to the YouTube. And then today's YouTube video, we're going to be showing you guys how to add your very own custom world. So I've just gone ahead and gone over to Revive Node and bought myself a new server. So this is a fresh 1.14, I believe, server. This is a fresh server with the default world. I've got the server open right here. As you can see, it's the default world. Let me just mine up this log. So it's the default world that's just de generated with my new server that I bought from Revive Node, and uh, we're going to be showing you guys how to get your own custom world in. Now I have recently made a video on the top five hub servers, so we're actually going to be going over to that video. Okay, let's go over to that video. Top five Minecraft hubs maps download. You know we'll, we'll mute it up while the ad's playing because we need money. Don't skip the ads, please. Thanks. Anyways, we'll go down. We've got all of the links here in the description. I'm going to go down and I'm going to actually click on the media via link. And you can actually go to any website where you can download it or just get it out of your app data. So if you want to get a solo world, I'll just quickly show you how you do that. So you go percentage, app data, percentage, just get to get a world from your solo worlds. Then you go dot Minecraft and then you go uh, saves right here and uh, you've got all of your worlds in here and what you can do is actually just zip them up and then upload the zip file into your server just like I'm gonna do with the one that I'm gonna download but I'm gonna download this here we go then we're gonna have map one zip and now once we have that zip folder we can actually come down to our file explorer um, in our revive node panel or whatever panel you're using and you're just gonna go to the main page on here and you're gonna hit upload and you're gonna go to the downloads folder and here we go we've got map one I'm just gonna use the normal map one here we go and that will upload nice and smoothly there really quickly and uh, so that's uploaded so let me just reload the page and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to extract it so we're gonna come over here and we're gonna decompress we're gonna hit decompress or extract whatever your one says and here we have the map one so if we have multiverse installed on the uh, server we can just use multiverse uh, to navigate to the world but we don't have multiverse installed on the server because it was a fresh install so what we can actually do next is come down we can go to the server.properties file and what we're going to do is we're actually going to make this the default world so actually first I'm going to stop the server shut down the server while you edit the server.properties file um, so now we can come down to the server.properties file. We want to find the place where it says level name. So where is it? Level name, level... There it is. Level name. And you want to paste in whatever the map name was, which was map one. Okay. And now we put that in. We hit save. And that should be the new level name now. So if I actually go and start up the server now, that should be the default world. Okay. So I have an outdated thing. So I need to wait 20 seconds. Uh, we'll just start the server up and we'll be back with you in a second. Okay, so we've actually run into an issue here where I actually, probably for your convenience, probably should have done this first, but when I uploaded the files, but uh, we're actually running into an issue with, where we've got some players in the player directory. So what we do is we come over to maps and we just get this player data and players and we just remove this. So we go delete, delete, boom. Now that we've deleted that and um, we can go back to our console and we can just quickly start the server up so uh the we were just getting some errors in the console because uh we had outdated player logs in the thing so i probably should have done that for your convenience before i uploaded them to media file but if you get that issue i've had it also just people just forget to do these things so if you ever have that issue when you're downloading a map just delete any player directory um data and it should fix itself so that's just what happened there and um if that happens to you, you now know what to do. So as you can see, everything is now loading perfectly fine and we should be able to get into that world in just a second. Today's video is sponsored by Singoda. Singoda is a new and unique marketplace where you can easily find hundreds of high quality, free and paid custom plugins to improve your overall Minecraft server experience. With the help of community and developer feedback, Singoda is constantly working to improve the overall user experience. Singoda features both their own plugins and plugins from developer you already know and love. Don't want to take my word for it? Well, why not listen to all the happy, satisfied customers? The link to the Singoda marketplace will be in the description, so why not give it a try? Okie dokie, so our server, as you can see on the Paradactyl Demon, is now marked as on, so if we quickly direct connect to it, 
we should have our new world, which hopefully the spawn point is at the spawn point. Ah, here we go. And we've got the new world, as you can see, looking very beautiful. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Okay, so we've got our world that we downloaded from the download link. We've got the map that we've downloaded and that's custom on our server. So you can actually do that from any website or from the video that I had. Anyways, guys, if you did enjoy today's YouTube video, make sure you smash the like button and subscribe. And if, if you, even if you don't want to subscribe um, because you're not interested in the content that I make, just hitting the like button really does help the video out with the algorithm and won't subscribe you to any further notifications. So uh, if you can, just please like the video uh, just to help me out with the algorithm. And if you want to continue seeing content from me, uh, hit the subscribe button. It really does help out a lot as well. And if you don't like the content that you're seeing from me after hitting the subscribe button, you can still unsubscribe. Um, so yeah, just... Um, if you do like the video, subscribe and also like the video um, to support the video. Um, anyways, guys, I will see you for another plugin video on Tuesday. Um, thanks for watching. See ya.